Hi, uh, good afternoon. Is my voice clear at the back? All good? Great. I was just trying to, uh, I think the gentleman here spotted, I was trying to look at who is not a Britannia consumer in the house. Can you raise your hands? Okay. We're not in such a bad place. Great. Okay, my, my name is Amit Doshi. Uh, I have been uh, with Britannia. I'm going to complete close to 10 years uh, at Britannia. Uh, this is my second innings at Britannia. I spent uh, close to nine years in my first, uh, first innings at Britannia. Uh, and that's pretty much where I grew up in the foods and beverages industry. Uh, and then in 2013, I changed tracks a little bit. I moved from FMCG to technology. I joined uh, Lenovo India. Uh, and uh, at Lenovo, I, uh, in my last job, I was heading marketing. I was doing the CMO job for uh, India and South Asia, which is the surrounding countries. And then uh, uh, earlier, uh, last year, I rejoined uh, Britannia. Uh, so a bit of, bit of a homecoming there. Uh, and, and what I uh, wish to share uh, today is instances of how uh, at Britannia we've been able to weave uh, insightful storytelling, as the, as the title suggests, uh, but with elements of agility, right? And then and we're really talking about two elements here. One of it is, uh, would be quite familiar to us as marketeers, which is uh, how do you drive, how do you, how do you create and drive storytelling that eventually moves uh, emotions, moves people to take actions, uh, and therefore moves the needle on brands and businesses. And that's really the core of what we, what we do as, uh, as marketeers. Uh, so just, just a, couple of, uh, a couple of disclaimers before I begin, right? Uh, first of all, uh, all storytelling is, meant, is not storytelling for uh, storytelling's sake. Uh, and, and all marketing that we do, uh, at least in, in the Britannia realm, is very clear is, is, is something that we do to drive uh, brand and business impact. Uh, there is this artificial divide that we've created, and, and in technology, you hear it all the time. There's brand marketing, and there's performance marketing, and there's this uh, a real uh, divide that has, has, has got created. Uh, look, I, I believe uh, very strongly about it. It's, it's, a really, uh, it's really an artificial definition, because if Brand marketing is not driving performance marketing. Uh, performance for the business or the brand, it's, it's just for the sake of it. So a lot of the work that you will see here, uh, while uh, you, uh, you may find some of it engaging, interesting, but it's all work that finally works for Britannia, moves the needle on the brand, and moves the needle on the business. Now, wh now what's, with, uh, what's with agile marketing? What's agility? Uh, I, it's, it's a paradigm that's always existed, but you know, you could just say that it's just got a little simpler with, uh, with the tools, the technology, uh, the, the platforms that we have. And, market and for marketers today, for all of us, it's easier to express ourselves whenever the right moment hits you. Now, uh, uh, w when one breaks agility down, again, agility has many dimensions. So one is not just talking about agility uh, in a conventional sense. Uh, uh, there's a lot of jargon thrown around, moment marketing, so on and so forth. But, but agility to me, to my mind, is not just about uh, finding that one moment or that one hashtag that's trending and, and trying to latch on to that. Yes, that also has a place for itself, but agility is really about uh, understanding the nuances of how shifts are happening uh, with your consumers in relationship with your brands and trying to tap them in new and different and interesting ways. So that's what I'm going to, uh, uh, go, going to deep dive into. Now, uh, all, so I, I've, I, hard, you know, I don't have too much of conceptual stuff uh, uh, for, for you here. Uh, everything that I'm going to talk about today is through real stories at Britannia. So, that, so that's one. Uh, the second is that a lot of the work that you will see is also regional in nature. So apologies if you do not fully uh, connect with it. I'll try, and, I'll, I'll try and break it down as much as possible. Uh, Britannia has footprint across the country and has many, many strong brands. And sometimes they have a very, very strong regional, uh, regional bias. So, so I'll, I'll just call that out as we, as we go along. 
Uh, but before we begin, uh, and, and I'll also use the help of my friends at the console, because we've got uh, you know, quite a few videos and so on and so forth to play, so hopefully they, they play well and without any technical glitches. Uh, let's move to the next slide, please. Yeah, so uh, this is, uh, so, so let's, let's first start with the first part of the, first part of the phrase, insightful storytelling. Uh, uh, let's, let's double click into the word insight and insightful. Uh, and most, as, as marketeers, whether, it, whether it's in classes in our MBA schools or uh, in, in meetings or when we were young brand managers, this must have crossed. And if it's not crossed, I'm sure it'll cross, cross you at some stage. What is the difference between an observation and an insight? Any takers? An insight is actionable, okay. What else? Any, any other take? The difference between, I'm not sure if we'll be able to hear you, but we'll try. Sorry? Insight is what you get from observation. Okay, that's one definition. That's uh, clever and interesting. Um, an observation can be biased. An observation can be biased. Yeah, that's a good definition. Okay, I, yeah, oh, I didn't know. There were going to be so many, but please go ahead. Can you speak a little louder? Okay, got that, got that. Insight is actionable. Okay, now what I'm going to reveal is the best definition I've ever heard because I was, you know, as a, as a young person when I started joining, uh, st uh, joined marketing for the first time, I used to always get confused between, between the two and someone who's a very, very senior industry veteran, I'll not name him, he's also one of my mentors, this is the definition he gave me, right? When you say, when you say it, it's a mere observation, but when your boss says it, it's an insight, right? So this is the one you've got to always take away, right? Okay, so, so let's, let's move on, let's move on. And let's start with a, with a few stories. The first story is about Good Day. Uh, everyone uh, heard of Good Day, has eaten a pack of Good Day, right? Now. For, for years uh, together, uh, Good Day has stood for the spirit of happiness and optimism in the country. It's, it's, it's part of the phrase. Uh, have a good day, it's a good day, I hope you have a good day. So it's really also part of, uh, of how we speak and how we talk and converse and, and, and the brands always found its place in, in popular culture. Now what we realized as we, as we got along on this journey is uh, that uh, we, we, because of the, the penetration level that the brand already enjoys, it's always a challenge to build penetration on top of that. It's, it's a hugely penetrated brand across the country. And one of the things that we realized that we needed to do was create more frequent opportunities to trigger consumption for the brand. And uh, so, so we made a simple shift. We, we started noticing, uh, whether it was in social media or in popular culture, that people were beginning to celebrate uh, small moments of happiness. Yes, of course, there is that big, uh, you know, big celebration that happens every once in a while. There's a moving moment that happens every, every here and now. But Good Day as a brand is about uh, everyday small moments. And, and that's really the code that we, that we came across. And what we then did was we said, okay, I mean, if, if there are so many moments that we want to put out there, what can we learn from what's happening around us in terms of media consumption? And this is where, again, agility comes in, in terms of absorbing what's happening around. And we saw if, if the world is full, if the world is busy consuming reels, uh, why is it that the consumption format only needs to exist within an Instagram or a Facebook or a social media platform. Can I pick up that same format and plant it on mainstream television? So Good Day took a, took a very different approach and, and said, instead of this classical 30-second TVC, we'll break the mold and we'll make many, many stories. 
So think of these as very, very small good day reels, but all playing on television. Of course, they play on digital. But it's really learning from what's happening in popular culture and applying not just in terms of your message or medium, but also in terms of format. So we'll just play a few, and, and uh, I, hope you get, uh, I, I hope you get a sense of what we're trying to do here. Can we have... Uh, can good day. Mm-hmm. Kis baat pe? He said yes. Rahul. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cab driver. <laughs> Even better. Bade lamho ka kyo kare we? Chote pal bhi hote hai. Great. Good day se ki jiye. Celebrate. Good day. Kis baat pe? Tum baap panne wale ho. Tan tan tan. बड़े लम्हों का क्यों करे वेट छोटे बल भी होते हैं ग्रेट गुड डे से कीजिए सेलिब्रेट गुड डे केड़ी गलू मामी मासी पुआ ताई चाई जी चाची इस बार किसी ने नहीं पूछा कि ब्याह को तो करेंगी बड़े मौके आता क्यों करिए वेट छोटे मौके भी हों दे ग्रेट गुड डे नाल करो सेलिब्रेट गुड डे बड़े लमो का क्यों करे वे छोटे बल भी होते हैं ग्रेट गुड डे से कीजिए सेलिब्रेट so we suddenly you know over uh, over a almost overnight uh, we've been you know we've been able to create a uh, very very different narratives which uh, connect with you know which break the dimensions of region which break the dimensions of age which break the dimensions on on culture and really puts good day right at the heart of uh, of any indian that were to that were to engage with the brand Uh, and again uh, you know some of them played in languages so apologies if you if you didn't get that but uh, can you can you flip back so the you know the the one there mehndi which is about you know this classical uh, situation that a lot of women face if uh, you know if they're still single at a wedding and uh, then this one's uh, taking a taking a shot at you know it's it's a classical silly dad joke uh, between so it's it's a father daughter moment uh, let's let's move on and then uh, what we did was we we picked these stories up and uh, and and then there was an interpretation that we saw also for social media that again to be expected but with some interesting content the third one was was interesting so when we started to put the brand out there uh, again it's expected that for a brand like good day you are likely to get a lot of interest people started sharing their own stories their own everyday small moments uh, which we then uh, picked up and then they were beamed uh, at uh, regular intervals on 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 digital hoardings that we took uh, in some large cities so uh, story you know we first started putting out stories consumers started responding we we picked some of them and then again made them the face of uh, of our brand uh, so so just want to uh, again bring uh, the combination of uh, distilling uh, through insights building into a communication format that's unique and then again playing uh, involving the consumer then into extending the campaign into into different touch points can we move to the next one Okay, the second one's about this this regional brand. Uh, how many of you have heard of milk bikis or ever tried a pack of milk bikis? Okay. Uh, now, this brand has enjoys a lot of love, a uh, lot of love in the state of Tamil Nadu, especially. And one of the launches that we made, uh, you know, now it's going to be two years, is milk bikis classic. By the way, this is again, a, you know, a case of agile marketing. where we so milk bikis existed in a certain avatar almost a decade back we changed it to a different format which also did very very well but there was a generation who grew up on milk bikis of a certain kind of a, you know, there was a certain packaging memory there was a certain product memory and we would always get these letters and mails 
uh, you know, really around where did that milk bikis go. So a couple of years back, we uh, launched uh, a limited edition pack called Milk Bikis Classic, and now, thanks to the response that we've got from consumers, it's become a permanent uh, product for us. So we, you know, so if you go to Chennai, you, you get a Milk Bikis, but you also get a Milk Bikis Classic, and, and there are two different audiences that we cater to. Now, on Milk Bikis Classic, uh, the pot platform's usually around nostalgia, so it, it's uh, it, it's uh, really really soaked in local Tamil culture. So if you again, if you do not get it, I'll I'll take you through it. But what's very important uh, is for you to get uh, you know what's what's really the storytelling that's happening here. So we'll play the TVC first, which will you know give you the terrain. Now all of this content is in regional language. But uh, before we play it, it's really, this, this one's going to be about a dad uh, connecting back with his son over his milk bikis, right? So the son doesn't know about the milk bikis his dad grew up on. Can we play this, please? Vishal, you know, my dad's milk bikis classics have to eat. Hey, I'm going to eat the poop pot. I'm going to eat the poop pot. Arimuga Parthigrom Milk Bikis Flashback Pack. QR code scan pannunga, nickname contest le participate pannunga, Dubai ki family trip pellunga. So the way the way the father ate his biscuit is how kids in that generation ate it, which is you know they would start eating the biscuit on the periphery so that Britannia is the last piece that that they eat, right? And so we are reflecting really consumer culture back into back into advertising. But then we, but then one of the things we all also had to do was to bridge the gap between these two generations, and we said, you know, why don't we tap into different aspects of nostalgia? So when the product was launched, it was launched through a special edition uh, that the Hindu cre created for Chennai, you know, picking up almost new pieces of the past, and then what we did recently was actually for the first time we took Britannia off the biscuit. And the, the Milk Bikis classic biscuits came with nicknames that the erstwhile generation used as, as part of, uh, you know, going to school and so on and so forth. And the whole activation was about the parent familiarizing the kid about their uh, growing up years. So that's, that's what it was about. Maybe we'll just play, play a little bit of, uh, of the content there. We can skip this. We can skip this. So just just to give you a sense of again, you know, picking up from culture and uh, I I won't you know uh, play these, but again, this is uh, how you can again hyper regionalize content. So these are all Milk Bikis films for Tamil Nadu, but all of them shot and crafted in different Tamil dialects. So it's, it's really about how deep can you go even within a certain language. Can we move to the next slide? Uh, this is another really, really powerful program that uh, has been four years in the running. Uh, Mari Gold's stated intent is uh, to empower women to be more and do more. This is the fourth year of the startup challenge. And every year, lakhs of women from across the country pitch in with their, with their startup ideas. And uh, what we've now done, if you, if you, if you move forward, uh, across seasons, you see you know, a lot of participation that we get. And Britannia finally funds 10 of these ideas at the, at the end of every year. Uh, can you flip? OK, can we, we can keep moving forward. OK, uh, maybe we can uh, play this one, just to give you a sense of uh, you know, what's the insight around this? Lata? Pechana nahi? Main hoon 20 saal ki Lata. Geeta? Ek zamana tha jab tum sirf recipes ke piche dorti thi. Ragini? Event plan karne mein tumhe aaj bhi utni hi khushi milti hai na? इसीलिए मैंने सोचा अगर हम फिर मिल जाए तो तुम फिर से वही सपने देखने की ठान लोगी रागिनी इवेंट प्लानर्स के लिए अभी भी देर नहीं हुई है गीता बेकरी की दुनिया 
अभी भी इंतजार कर रही है लता फैशन खोलने का सपना अभी बाकी है मैं लता अपना सपना पूरा करने के लिए ब्रिटानिया मारी गोल्ड माय स्टार्टअप कॉन्टेस्ट में भाग लेना चाहती हूँ वापस आ रहा है ब्रिटानिया मारी गोल्ड माय स्टार्टअप कॉन्टेस्ट गूगल के साथ बताइए अपना बिजनेस आइडिया और पाइए मौका दस लाख रुपए जीतने का Remove the next slide, and you know it's it's really a a question of then identifying the right moments to continue the narrative forward, uh, and this is what we did for the Women's Day, actually not on the Women's Day, but on 9th of March instead. Let's play this. Good morning, Didi. अरे इतने दिन दिखी नहीं गाओ गई थी ना Didi हम्म कल किसी का बर्थडे था क्या नहीं Women's Day, महिलाओं का दिन महिलाओं का दिन एक ऐसा दिन जो महिलाओं के लिए खास है अच्छा जहाँ उनका सम्मान किया जाता है उनकी इज्जत की जाती है लाइक अ ट्रिब्यूट उनकी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन अचीवमेंट्स इन सब को सेलिब्रेट किया जाता है उनके राइट्स इक्वालिटी मतलब समानता इसके बारे में फोकस किया जाता है अच्छा ये अभी निकाल सकती हूँ दीदी ये खाली एक ही दिन के लिए है शायद नहीं I think we'll uh, skip to the to the last part. We'll uh, yeah, maybe we can go through this. Okay, we will skip it. We'll skip it. Let's go to the last slide, please. Right. So this is this is where I'll sum up. Uh, unfortunately, couldn't share one case. Uh, hopefully, we can uh, get time to talk through it. Uh, this is again uh, a take to break down what uh, agile marketing to meet uh, to uh, means to us. Uh, first of all ideas could come from anywhere and and a lot of the work that you saw not always came from who we consider the mainline creative agency but it's really about uh, picking uh, that uh, picking that diamond of an idea and now if, you know and then everyone rallying around it to make it big uh, there's a lot of emphasis on 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 data really to uh, listen into what's happening and then reflecting it into your work uh we hopefully also spoke about how the work has spoken to many indias right right from good day which is very national in its character to milk bikis which is very regional to mari gold which speaks to a a particular uh, cohort and and a, and a culture uh, high point uh finally uh, again a lot of our success especially for brands like good day and mari gold has come from staying consistent with with the insight around which the brand is centered and uh, a lot of uh, co-creation with consumers sometimes to get them to participate and at other times uh, to actually make them the heroes of uh, heroes of our communication uh, i hope that's useful that's all from me thank you <laughs>